Hello everyone, for this video, we're going to talk about the tangent secant segments power theorem. This is our theorem 117. Of course, let us have our learning target for this video. I can identify the lengths of the secant and tangent segments which intersect in the exterior of the circle. First, what is a theorem 117 or the tangent secant segments power theorem? If a tangent segment and a secant segment intersect in the exterior of a circle, then the square of the length of the tangent segment is equal to the product of the lengths of the secant segment and its external part. Now, let us have sample illustration for this. In the given figure, we do have segment BS here. This is considered as tangent segment because it intersects the circle T at point S. And we also have segment BU which intersect the given circle at exactly two points and therefore we call it secant. Now since we do have tangent segment and secant segment that intersect at the exterior point of the circle, therefore, we are supposed to apply a theorem 117. But of course, let us write it here first. The given details mentioned here, we do have BC is 8 centimeters, and we also have CU, which is 10 centimeters, and we are asked to find out the length of our tangent segment BS and since we don't know it yet so we can represent it using any variable so for now I'm gonna use variable X and now we can proceed with writing our equation or formula based on theorem 117 as stated a while ago so as mentioned um, to find uh, the length of our Segment BS, let us have this equation. So, square of the tangent segment. So, our tangent segment here is BS. So, let us translate the description mentioned a while ago. So, BS squared. And it is equal to the product of the secant and the, the external part. So, secant is BU. So, it will be multiplied with the, our BC. Now, so let us proceed with substitution. Our BS is X as of now. So, X squared equals for our BU. This is the length of the entire secant. So, we are supposed to add up 8 and 10. So, we will have 18. Then, multiplied with our BC which is 8. Now, let us multiply. So, we do have 18 times 8. It's 144. This is not yet our final answer since we do have here x squared. So, we need to simplify by getting the square root of both sides of our equation. Now, what is square root of x squared? It's x. And what is square root of 144? It's 12. But for now, this is our value of x. Therefore, bs is 12. But of course, to write your final answer, you are supposed to write it completely. So, final answer B S is equal to 12 centimeters. We need to include the unit of measurement since in my given details a while ago here, I do have 10 centimeters and 8 centimeters. Therefore, for our final answer, we do have 12 centimeters. Okay, next we have find the value of x and y. So as you can see, we do have two circles here. We have the upper circle and then the lower circle. And we do have a tangent segment AB and the AE. Now, take a look with the given illustration. We can have two combinations right here. We do have tangent AB paired with secant AD. And then the other one is tangent AE paired with secant AD. Now, let us see if which one are we going to solve first. So, if we're going to solve first for our first set, so AB and secant AD, we will be able to find out the missing detail for X, right? And if 
you are going to start with the second set which is AE and second AD you would have two missing details you will encounter both variable x and variable y and that would be difficult on your part if you're going to solve for two variables at one time now better if we start with the first set here so we will have uh, our tangent a b and secant a d first so let us make use of our formula so we do have tangent a b squared equals product of the secant and the external part that means ad times ac now let us substitute now so as you can see we do have our ab here and it's given which is um six so let's substitute six squared equals our ad since we don't know yet the measure of segment CD and the, we all know if we're going to get the length of the entire secant, we are supposed to add 4 and then the measure of the segment CD. So since it is represented by X as of now, so we can have measure of AD as X plus 4. Okay, and lastly, let us multiply it with the the measure of external segment which is 4 okay now let us get 6 squared is 36 equals then we do have here x plus 4 times 4 now instead of doing the distributive property here I would directly go on with simplifying so I would like to isolate the x plus 4 here by dividing both sides by 4 okay so that i will be able to cancel this out and i would have x plus 4 left and 36 divided by 4 it's 9 and of course we are supposed to combine like terms as a shortcut for us to isolate the x here so we would have 9 minus 4 it's 5 and therefore, our value of x is 5. So we can say that measure of segment CD is 5. Okay, and now since we are done with getting the value of our variable x, we can now proceed with our variable y. Now let us have our formula again. So let's start with the tangent segment, square of it. So we have AE squared equals product of the secant again so we do have ad and its external part which is ac and now let us move on with substitution so ae is not yet given this is what we are supposed to find out so let's substitute y instead and for ad we all know this one already measure of the secant ad is 4 plus 5 we do have 9 and for our ac we do have 4 and now let's multiply y squared equals 9 times 4 we would have 36 this is not yet the final value for y since we do have exponent 2. So let's simplify it further by getting square root of both sides of our equation. And there let us have what is square root of y squared? It's y. And square root of 36 it's 6. Therefore, this is our final answer. So x is equal to 5 and y is equal to 6. So this means the length of AE is 6 and we're done so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching I do hope you learn about theorem 117 and now um, see you on our next video lesson